Uh, yeah, so we did a chest workout today. Um, context of the workout is uh, both Dallas and I, it's our second chest workout um, of the week. I'm uh, four-ish weeks out from the show. It's, you know, both of us are kind of on the same page, at least is what we want to do with our second workout. Um, so we talked about we'd much rather do two or three movements and just really beat the shit out of those as opposed to doing five or six movements and just kind of getting all over the place. Obviously right now, like the goal for me is to train as hard as I can every session, but it's also to train every session, you know? So it's like, you know, if I'm trying to hit chest, like Joe just uh, said, twice a week, and you know, I've already done chest once this week, I'm only gonna get so much out of doing it again. Yeah. Uh, yep, finish. <sighs> Guys that have huge rib cages, like it's essentially like they're doing a decline plus press when they flat press. You know, because literally if you look at everything lines up, it's like the barbell, their upper arm, and their shoulder joint all still line up. Yeah. With like you when you're like here, basically the barbell never lines up perfectly with your shoulder joint. It's always gonna be, if you look from straight above, it's like a couple inches below. So like the only thing that really can influence that is front delt. So it's like, you're still getting some pec, but it's gonna have to be more front delt. Just a little bit of incline. It doesn't have to be much, but just that little bit of incline is a lot more chest driven. It, because what it does, it keeps that, that rotation out, you know? When I do mine, just like you've seen, like I have to like really focus on like, you know, pinning your shoulders back and getting like a good like arch in your back. <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> And then honestly, just even doing something like that, you know, for, for me being where I'm at in prep, I kind of just hit a wall, run out of energy pretty quick, so we both wanted something pretty stable for the next one, so I don't have to have accessory stuff fatiguing before my chest fatigues. Um, so we just did a flat machine press. Sometimes I'm limited by what a machine can hold or what, you know, the, the, the how heavy dumbbells they have. So, like Joe said, you know, um, it's, it's the heaviest they got, so I just do them as many times as I can. And that's why we stay there for a couple more sets working. Let's go, come on. Go, 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 go. go. part two is like half of it's just like I'm borderline you know brain dead and um, so it's just kind of like just discussing you want to do this yeah you want to do that, that exercise yeah, yeah and uh, yeah I should say I'm more so than normal um, uh, so anyway yeah and that, that was pretty much it just a, just a good workout getting in getting it done and um, you know that was that really like that first exercise we did we stayed there for three really good working sets you know yeah. we could have moved on after one or two like most people would mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, I, I felt like it was working and, you know, as long as something's working, we stick with it. So just try to be smart and work as hard as you can without working so hard that you're, you know, putting yourself on a hole come next time to train the muscles. 